how do you make a group assignment in Canvas? Because uh, you can see in the Canvas assignments that if we scroll down here, uh, that you can check it's a group assignment, but then you see there's an option for like group sets and group categories and what's up with that. So here, today we're gonna give you an example about uh, from a drama class, how are you gonna set up a group assignment? I'm here with Katrina Elson. So Katrina, can you describe like in what way is this a group assignment? Yeah, absolutely. So my group, my uh, class is going to be broken into five or six different smaller groups. And each of those groups will be required to learn and perform a Greek choral ode. And this assignment specifically is they need to record one of their rehearsals and submit one link for each group of people. Cool. So um, Canvas lets you create, so the reason they use the term group set is that each assignment, you might have to have, have a different uh, arrangement of students and groups. So in other words, the groups might change from assignment to assignment. So like think of each assignment as a set, a set of groups, hence group set. Uh, yes. So let's go ahead and click on people because where do we manage groups? It's people in the left nav bar. And then we're going to find uh, kind of in the middle of the screen, uh, oh, on the right side actually, there's a red button that says plus group set. So we're going to add a group set. And the group set name in this case, uh, it's for a specific assignment, so Greek Choral Ode. Uh, in your classes, you might have like ongoing groups, so, so maybe you have a repeating like assignment for discussion groups or something, and maybe they keep those groups throughout the semester. And in that case, you know, we just have one group set and that we use over and over again. But in this case, we're going to use the group set just for Greek Choral Ode. Okay, and then we're going to add a group. Okay. So each of your students, they're going to be doing like a uh, different Greek choral ode, right? Correct. So in this case, it's the Lysistrata. Mm -hmm. And you're also separating them by block, by block mm -hmm. right? So in this case, uh, you, you can mix. Cor uh, Canvas will let you mix students in different blocks. But in this case, to keep them separate, we're just going to add that dash D, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to have the Lysistrata dash D. And then also in block H, is that's your Correct. other block, right? So we're going to add another group. Okay, there we go. And then you're going to manually drag in the students that you want in, uh, from each of those blocks, right? Okay, there we go. And we can see that it's updated um, that there are, there are three students in that group. Cool. And if you click on it, it will expand. Right. Gorgeous. So let's go ahead and add them for block H. H as well. And... Okay, so when you're finished doing all of your groups, it'll probably look something like this. Uh, and now what we need to do is uh, associate the assignment with this group set. So let's go back on the left nav bar and click on Assignments. And then we've got our assignment there. Yeah, and we click on the title to see more settings, and then we click on that little pencil icon for Edit. Okay, and now when we do the group set, if we scroll down, we can click and we can do Greek Choral Ode. And that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and save and publish it if we want students to see it. Okay, and now when, when students go to submit this assignment, uh, they'll submit one for their, for their group. Um, and you'll be able to kind of go in SpeedGrader and see who submitted it and who hasn't.